Hello, this is a uh, video showcasing Minecraft Mayhem, which was developed uh, in Foundations of Game Graphics Programming at RIT. Uh, so what Minecraft Mayhem is, it's an endless runner game um, developed entirely using DirectX 11. So everything you see here on screen is rendered uh, from scratch um, in an engine built from the ground up uh, using DirectX 11. Um, now, for this project, our goal was to create um, a rendering engine that utilized more modern uh, techniques, um, such as deferred rendering, uh, deferred lighting, um, etc. So, what you can see on screen is basically uh, instance geometry for the actual base geometry and uh, instance lighting. Uh, you know, deferred lighting um, using a deferred lighting pass, for instance. And now the way the way we do that is we have a scene file um, where we describe all the game objects in the scene, and we have lighting objects that can either be uh, point lights, spotlights, uh, directional lights, etc. Um, and they will get rendered within their own lighting pass using their uh, lighting geometry or the light volume such as a sphere for a point light or a cone for a spotlight um, um, which will you know put together achieves this effect um, in the uh, <clears throat> the PowerPoint slides um, in the description of the video uh, it shows the before and after of, of the actual project and what it looked like at the very beginning of the semester um, where it was essentially just gray boxes. Um, and then at the end, there's a uh, picture showing um, what it looks like here uh, after all the lighting effects and the deferred rendering system is, is set up. Um, now, the gameplay itself is all scripted using Lua, so none of it's hard coded. Um, and I should probably also talk about how we're achieving this effect of this tunnel that sort of never ends, but also curves. Um, what it is is essentially the tunnel is actually straight. Um, it's a straight tunnel made up of about 20 or so of these segments. Uh, we max it out at 20. They're, they're duplicated. They're basically prefab objects that we spawn about 20 of. Um, and then what we do is when it goes through the rendering pass of the geometry we have a special code we wrote in the vertex shader to take all the vertices of the geometry and bend them um, using basically calculus functions we wrote um, to achieve this sort of curvature now that's not uh, the equations to, to curve it are not the most performant things they're actually pretty expensive um, so doing this on a massive scale for a larger game or, um, was probably not the best idea. But for this, it worked really well. And as you can see, I'm going very fast. And eventually, I will probably crash into something. And that's when the game will end and you have to restart. Um, there we go. So that's Mineshaft Mayhem. Um, and you can restart it and it starts over. Um, thanks for watching. and. Uh, Stay tuned for more um, videos covering um, newer projects I've been working on using DirectX 12 and Vulkan because um, that stuff is exciting and currently in the works. Thank you.